My name is Roger Magulis. I'm a Director of Data Strategy at Astronomer. And I'm Maggie Stark. I'm a Senior Data Scientist at Astronomer. Astronomer is a relatively long-running startup that is commercializing the open source airflow tool that's used to build data pipelines. And we've really ramped up in the past year to kind of a high growth rate. Our data goal at Astronomer is to centralize everyone around our data and uh, the joint metrics. We're hoping to become a data-informed organization and use data to help everyone have the context to make better decisions. Our data team is made up of data engineers, data scientists, and business analysts. And we have a hybrid structure throughout the company where we collaborate and coordinate with data organizations in sales, marketing, customer support, and other areas. Data is important to astronomer because it tells us where we were, uh, where we currently are, and it informs sort of where we should be focusing next, uh, what product features to focus on, uh, what gaps we have in the current product. Right, and as a remote first company, having data uh, widely distributed helps us get on the same page and have the same kind of perspective on what's going on with the company. So it ends up being an important kind of glue to uh, how the company operates. Before we had Tableau and Preset uh, throughout the organization, but really a lot of spreadsheets. Nothing had been centralized and nothing in a, any kind of organized way where there's a consistent way of doing things. It was kind of people just built things in an ad hoc basis. Before Sigma, there wasn't really a standard workflow uh, for analytics. It was all pretty ad hoc, um, like Roger said. Duplicate efforts by teams, so you'd see other teams making the same metrics. And uh, so having sort of a centralized uh, platform where we could share all of the data really helped was to reduce those efforts. Why we decided to uh, go to Sigma was we noticed that there was really this lack of centralization, lack of consistency that we really needed to have a bake off and pick one tool that would help most easily socialize data throughout the organization. Well, what we looked at was Preset, Metabase, and Hex. Um, we had Tableau in parts of the company, so we knew about Tableau there. And that's what we looked at as we were making our decision. I think the implementation of Sigma was actually pretty smooth and quick. Uh, at the same time that we were evaluating BI tools, we were really focused on uh, coming up with standards for our data architecture. So having those standards in place really led to a smooth implementation and adoption of Sigma within Astronomer. Yeah, during the Bake Off, we did find that we were pretty quickly productive with Sigma compared to the other tools. And that was certainly one of the factors in the decision we made. I think one of our goals for uh, implementing Sigma uh, was to reduce the amount of duplicate efforts and ad hoc requests. So now we have uh, self-service dashboards basically that have helped reduce that. Right. And when we were putting in Sigma, we also had gotten a big requirements list of what kind of metrics our product, sales, marketing, and other organizations needed. So there was a lot going on. We had, as Maggie said, had refined our data structures and we knew we had of a big hurdle to go over, so productivity mattered. The tool we picked. Sigma Astronomer now is like the central uh, da dashboarding tool, really. Um, it's where people go to understand what data we have available. Uh, we have our data catalog there, so it's a tool to, for them to understand what data exists. Um, and we also use it a little bit for sort of exploratory analysis. It's interesting at Astronomer is that our product team actually uses it a lot. We've taken a lot of operational data and made it available to them so they can see what's going on with the cloud platform and other facets of the product to help them make better decisions. Yeah, probably the biggest challenge was that we had a lot to get done in a short amount of time. So we needed to be able to quickly do things, we needed to iterate fast. We wanted to test everything out so we'd write something, have someone look at it and then decide whether it was okay or if we had to make changes. We were able to show people things so that we could then get like better refined like, data aggregations and so forth so that we were getting the kind of information that they needed there. So having something that we were quick with ended up being pretty important uh, 
to solving that, getting things out. And the other thing was just getting it to a lot of people. So we really wanted the whole company to have access. Uh, Sigma's customer support has been really communicative, which was really key in choosing a BI tool. Uh, they're good at answering our questions, but also are open to hearing feature requests and uh, including those into sort of their development process. Yeah, everyone on the team has commented on how quickly and effectively Sigma is able to answer our question, add features, and explain what might be going on with the uh, product and how we might speed things up or work around uh, getting the requirements we want displayed in the dashboard. There were a bunch of Sigma features that we particularly liked. One was the pivot tables. So we ended up, because a lot of people are using spreadsheets, they were used to the pivot table summary detail usage. So having that be an intuitive part of what was displayed ended up being pretty important. At all the charts that we wanted, we also, because they were consistent before, we had this kind of haphazard bunch of things, we were able to display things in a more consistent and I think understandable manner as a result of that. We were able to speed things up like we would maybe have a slow query thing up front and then we were able to use some tricks and so forth to help get the kind of response time that we, um, that we wanted. And we were able to add some interactivity so people could do things like focus on a particular customer, focus on a particular date range, the kind of things that are pretty typical but were pretty easy to uh, build and easy for our user base to use. Yeah, and because some of our uh Data consumers still like to live in spreadsheets. We have been utilizing the Google Sheets sort of scheduled export as a way of keeping their data also fresh. It's really made a big difference to people having perspective and context that they can, one, they're all getting the same information so they know what's going on. And they can use that information to have a like pretty good discussions around what to do next. So instead of spending time on what data do we have, they're able to spend time on what they need to do uh, with that data. And I think that that's been a really big change since we started doing that. And the feedback we've been getting has been kind of phenomenal on how much it helps to know what's going on. And we've made a bunch of changes in company strategy and like kind of overall company strategy because of what we've been able to learn through socializing a lot of information. Yeah, and I think one of the common cases is our sales team, our customer success team, looks at the dashboards, gets the customer history data, and can really bring data to the conversation, um, which is huge for us. Have we been able to use Sigma to reduce ad hoc requests? I was the main ad hoc request uh, hey, me person. Too. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We were the two people who most did it, and my queue has gotten much less since we've been able to put Sigma in. In fact, we used what we were doing on an ad hoc basis to help design some of the first dashboards. Yeah, there are certainly lessons learned from the ad hoc reports that sped up Sigma. Since deploying Sigma, we've been able to speed up our, our time to get to a dashboard, really a usable dashboard, mostly because we focused on our data architecture and having standards there. Um, so it goes through the same process and that allows us to yeah, get to the dashboard faster and get those insights out in front of people faster. In fact, we often talk about we've got enough process involved that we can go from idea to dashboard in a day if we have to. Has Sigma impacted our bottom line? We can't have a strict like, kind of ROI number to address that, but we have definitely changed the way the company processes what's going on. There were things that were almost like myths about how customers behave, but now they have people, the decision makers, have the detail they need to really understand what's going on. We've been able to make pivots on pricing, uh, other parts of our, you know, what we offer, how we talk to customers, our ability to anticipate a problem a customer may be having before they know that they have it. So it's just been like eye-opening for much of the organization to have all this extra information. Um, a lot of our ad hoc requests previously were sort of driven by our customers asking our sales team or our customer success uh, 
certain questions about their patterns, and so they would bring those to us. So by us minimizing how long it takes us to get data to them by having self-service dashboards, uh, we've really reduced the turnaround for our customers' questions. Right, and we've been able to anticipate because of the patterns we've learned, we've been able to look at a customer and say, oh, we should probably give them a call because we noticed something's happening here. Something we've used with Sigma that we haven't been able to do with previous BI tools was utilize the Google Sheet export um, that allows other people to keep their spreadsheets up to date with the latest data um, from Snowflake, and also the Google Sheets imports that allows them to take their simple data sets and quickly get them into a BI tool so they can start doing their um, exploratory analysis. And the other thing that we were able to do is integrate a lot more data together. So we actually upped how many data sources we had, and we were able to give this very complete view of what kind of data was there so people could make decisions that included lots of inputs and have the information they needed to you know, make better decisions or anticipate things that might be happening from customers and so forth. So I think that integration and the easy integration was pretty important. Enabling some of our satellite data organizations to get things done has been really important to us. It ups the productivity for the whole company and the people who know that data the best were able to do something that better supported them. Because we have this nice clean data architecture, they were able to pull the data that we had already combined and aggregated and so forth and able to build the kind of things that they wanted to do. And we know that in our professional services wing and so forth, they've been able to really improve their processes through those dashboards. More complex metrics because they're not just, they're using the centralized data uh, warehouse where a bunch of sources live instead of just their isolated sort of data sets. So we serve really all departments at the company with Sigma. Everyone in the company has been given a, a seat and is, has um, credentials to get in to the system. We work closely with customer success team, the go-to-market team, with the professional services organization, and with finance. And in some cases, they've built their own um, dashboards and, and workflows around that. And they've been able to rely on that we've got this nice centralized data architecture that they can quickly learn and bring the appropriate data in, but still build the things based on what they know best about their work. Most of our departments are data consumers at this point, but we are seeing a growing number of teams start to become data producers. Um, so our customer success is one, our go-to-market team, so there's going to be more in the future too. Right, and generally, we're a company that works in the data space that's a pretty data-savvy company. And in places I've worked at, I would say the general knowledge of how to work with data is very good there. And so they're eager consumers of information. So parts of the company have been able to really ramp up the way they work based on having the Sigma dashboards. The example I use is our customer success team, who, because they have data about the way customers are using Astronomer, that they can then, when they engage them for renewal or other activities, they have a lot of context and they can talk to them in a smart way about what is happening and anticipate things that they may have questions about or offer things that will help them become, you know, help them work better and become a better customer for us. So that enablement is a big change from before when we were more reactionary, so we we're able to be just proactive. Yeah, and because the data is now connected, it flows through the system and impacts other teams. So when we have customers success, successfully selling contracts, finance immediately sees that result and doesn't need to dig up the data anymore. So we want people to be able to use the data. So we've tried to help people understand what's in all the dashboards and so forth. Every dashboard has a reference page. We've got a data catalog that allows people to see what kind of data is available. We've got a monthly newsletter that will explain how to use some of the dashboards. So we've spent a lot of time on trying to get good information out to the folks who would be using it. Yeah, and we're doing a data team endorsement on dashboards where we tag dashboards that have been QA'd by the data team, saying it looks good, um, the data's correct, sort of gold star.
The C-suite uh, at Astromer has their own dashboard, the executive dashboard, that has an overview of different departments with the uh, key KPIs from those teams so that they can check the health of different departments. And they were quite active in helping find the requirements for that dashboard and continue to interact with us to help improve that dashboard. They're really using it, and we can see from the stats that they are really engaged with using that data to help make decisions about the company. And driving the iterations of the dashboards.